Hi, so today I'm going to make Hyderabadi chicken dum biryani for this Ramadan season. So come, I'll show you how to make Hyderabadi chicken dum biryani. So Hyderabadi chicken dum biryani, in my opinion, is the most easiest biryani that you can make. You just have to marinate the chicken prior, cook the rice, add that to the chicken and then seal it, that is called dum and cook it on a high to low flame. So for that I am going to use a large pot like this because uh, the whole biryani will be made in, a, uh, in this pot. So take a pot that would be enough to make that amount of biryani. So I am going to make this biryani for about 5 people. So this pot is more than enough for me. So in this large pot I am going to add 500 grams of chicken. So I've cut that, washed it, so add that chicken to this large pot. So since this is 500 grams of chicken, about 2 teaspoons of black pepper powder, half a tablespoon of red chilli powder, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon of coriander powder, half a teaspoon of caraway seeds. If you can't find caraway seeds, use um, cumin powder or cumin seeds. The traditional recipe does not use tomatoes, but I'm using. So this is one large tomato of cut into cubes. Add that as well. Green chili paste. So I've got about five green chilies and I've made it into a thick paste. Add about 2 tablespoons of green chilli paste, ginger garlic paste, 2 tablespoons, 2 tablespoons of freshly squeezed lime. So I have about 1 kilo of onions that are sliced and deep fried. So from this, I am going to take about two handfuls of fried onions. Salt to taste. Now comes the spices. So I have green cardamom, cloves, star anise, bay leaves, black cardamom, cinnamon and some nutmeg so we need to add this to the chicken marination and also to make the rice therefore half of this goes to the chicken and half goes to the rice so add about five to six cloves three to four green cardamoms some star anise about three bay leaves two black cardamom, some cinnamon, nutmeg and now this is optional but I'm adding chicken stock cubes just to enhance the flavor one or two depending if you like it or not you can add one or two cubes some fresh mint leaves add some fresh mint leaves if you have coriander leaves add that as well i don't like coriander therefore we are adding only some mint leaves leave some for garnishing so this is like a bunch hand full of mint leaves So this is the oil that I used to, fry, used to fry the onions. So from that oil, add about 3 tablespoons. So this oil will contain the onion flavor as well. About 3 to 4 tablespoons of oil. So everything is added. Now it's time to mix everything and marinate it at least minimum 2 hours best is to marinate it overnight so let's mix everything so 
everything is well mixed now let's place the lid and leave it to marinate for at least two hours best is overnight so we can keep this so now let's make the rice so I've set the chicken aside for marinating. So now let's make the rice. So for the rice, I have a large uh, pot and there is about two liters of water. Now let's switch on the stove and bring this water to a good boil. To this water, let's add salt, salt to taste, the whole spices, some cloves, green cardamom, bay leaves, black cardamom, cinnamon, nutmeg and star anise along with some caraway seeds or cumin. If you can't find caraway seeds, add cumin about half a teaspoon. So to the water, I'll add about few mint leaves just for flavor so to this I'll add about one teaspoon of ghee or butter whatever you prefer so as you can see the water started to boil now squeeze one lime into this water The juice of one lime or lemon whatever you have about uh, two to three tablespoons worth of lime juice there is 550 grams of good quality basmati rice that i have washed and soaked and now add that to this boiling water So after adding the rice, switch on the timer for exactly for 5 minutes. So now it's time to switch off the stove and let's drain the rice. So the rice is also 50% done. Now it's time to add the rice to our marinated chicken. So here we have a marinated chicken. Now let's add the 50% cooked basmati rice on top of our marinated chicken. After one layer of rice, add some fresh mint leaves. Some more fried onions. And more rice. Level this out properly. Add more mint leaves.
fried onions two to three teaspoons of butter or ghee so this is saffron milk so to some milk about a uh, half a cup of milk i've added few strands of saffron if you can use saffron use that if not some yellow food color to some milk would be also fine about three to four tablespoons of that just pour it on top three to four So now we are making the dum biryani. So now we are going to add the dum. Dum means sealing it airtight. So I have an aluminium foil. Place that on top of our biryani pot. And place the lid of the pot. So now it's airtight. This is called dumming. That is sealing it. Well. Now. On a, now, this is how you need to cook it. On a high flame, place this directly on top of the stove like this. Directly on top of the stove. And on a high flame, you cook it for 10 minutes. Then switch off the stove. So after 10 minutes, on a high flame, directly over a stove top. Then switch it off. Take the biryani pot away. Place a frying pan like this on the stove, then medium heat, switch the stove on to medium heat or low to medium, place the biryani on top of this frying pan like that. As you can see, it's not direct flame, it's on top of the frying pan and then switch the flame uh, stove on low to medium flame for 30 minutes after that switch it off and after one hour later we can open our biryani and our biryani will be done so that is the procedure so first step is direct flame 10 minutes high high flame for 10 minutes on a direct flame second is switch it off place the frying pan on the stove low to medium flame the biryani pot on top of the frying pan for 30 minutes switch it off so this is the timing you should need to know so now it's first step is on directly on top of the stove high flame for 10 minutes so you can set the timer for 10 minutes 10 minutes So now it's time, let's switch it off. Now remove the pan from the stove. Now place the frying pan, medium, medium, very low, very low to medium. And then place our frying pan And then place the biryani pot on top of the frying pan and leave it for another 30 minutes. You can set the timer. Set the timer for 30 minutes. So as you can see, very low flame. It's not direct heat, you, we have the frying pan, 
the biryani pot is on top and now let it cook on this low flame for 30 minutes now it's time to switch off the stove now let this rest for at least 10 to 15 minutes before you open it so our biryani has been resting for 15 minutes so it's time to lift the lid Good. So our Hyderabadi chicken dam biryani is done. So this is very easy to make. In my opinion, Hyderabadi dam biryani is the easiest to make. So try this out for this Ramazan season. And let me know how you liked it in the comment section. If you guys like this video, give this video a like and also share it with your friends. And also do subscribe to my channel. So until I see you guys next time with yet another video. This is Yavik signing off.